everyone. You're welcome. This is 30 Truths About Worship with Lorette. And this very episode is very special to me because the one I have right here with me is someone that is so special. I'm sure he's not special just to me. I'm sure he's special to the whole world, you know. This is a renowned worship <laughs> leader. <laughs> His songs are on replay. I mean, by the day, on replay. So talking about worship with him is very exciting, I know. So I'd just like to say very big <laughs> welcome, Eben! <laughs> Yay! Pastor Uche! How you doing? <laughs> Lorette! Yep, yep, yep. Good, 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 good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. It's been a while. I'm fine with them. <laughs> we thank God. Yeah. Thank God. So you know, for the past um twenty something weeks, we've been talking about worship, you know, we've talking about truths, you know, mm. we've been releasing nuggets on worship on a weekly basis, you know, and because I know yeah. that you are a worship leader, I mean, for excellence, I just know that this episode you're going to put your element into the discussion of the nugget that we have. For today, I'm very sure that a lot of people will be so blessed, you know, by this discussion. It's not a very long one, but you know how it is. One word from God, one word from God can change anybody's life forever. And I know that you're a man of God. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, if you're ready, I'm just going to go ahead and read off the nugget for today. And then you do justice to it. Are you ready, Even? Mm-hmm. Through worship, mm-hmm. we yeah. silence the many voices that tend to create unsettled thoughts in us. Let's hear your thoughts on mm-hmm. that. I think that's very profound. And I think that um, that's why worship is so powerful. Because when you begin to worship God, you lose focus of your immediate environment, you are in an audience of one. Mm. And that and that is God, you know. So that's true worship. True worship has an audience and that's that and it's one person is God. That minute where your eyes are shut or even if your eyes are open or even if you're in the midst of multitudes, you are not it's, it's not them that is the object of worship. It's mm. him. Mm. You know? So mm. to do that is to is to is to break loose or cut off distractions ideally to worship God truly is to is to is to rid yourself of distractions i always tell people that you cannot worship and worry at the same time oh my because when you when you behold his beauty it is difficult to see any difficulty you know mm. in that place when he's in the glory of his presence, all things are possible. You realize that all those things that are supposed to be challenges, you just, they become dwarfed by the oh presence of the almighty God. I tell people, do fiasco, lockdown and everything, do yourself a lot of good and worship God often. Because mm. if you don't, the plan of the enemy is to target your joy. You know, mm. by giving you negative reports on TV, negative reports on social media, negative reports as people are talking. You know, you tell some people, this thing is going to be over. They say, amen, oh, that amen <laughs> is not convincing. Unbelieving amen. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, so, so, so when you worship God, you are waking to the awesomeness of his mightiness. And you realize that every other thing is just, is just, is just, is just dwarfed, mm. you know. So, mm. so that's how that's how you must always be in that presence of mind. Jesus never had any any idea or sense of lack, mm. regardless of what he, where he was found. He was always conscious of the awesomeness of his heavenly father so even when there was storm and everybody was like ha, ha, master don't you care that we perish mm. you see you see he didn't say ah, ah, i care now i love you he said oh you of little, little faith. faith 
So it's, it's about becoming aware of the one with whom we have to do. Oh my word. Worship brings you. If worship doesn't bring you to that place, you are not worshiping, you are just singing. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Word, mm. word. If it doesn't, if that song, if that melody, if, if that moment doesn't bring you to the glory and the awesomeness of this great God, mm. you, are, you, are just, you are just singing. Mm. And you can't, you can't, you can't see his glory and still have a care Unsettled in the world. thoughts. Mm, 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 you cannot, you cannot. Mm. So, so, child of God, that is the antidote for anxiety. Worship, the right? Antidote. Yes, right ah, there. Worship right there. Ah, awesome. Worship right there. You know, awesome. because anxiety, anxiety is a result of your faith in negativity. Mm. You believe that this thing is a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Mm. Then you begin to worship Worry. God and you realize, mm. and you realize, come on, come on. All things work together for my good. Hallelujah. Come Beautiful. Come on. Mm. Come on. When men are cast down, that's when I say there's a lifting up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Travel earth at the presence of God. Hallelujah. I carry God in me. So mm. I overcome the world. Mm. For greater is he that is in me. Worship. You, you know, so you, you become aware of his umbrella around you. Oh, that's what the singing is for. Mm. That's what the worship is for. That's what the words are for. It's mm. not just for rhythms and rhymes. Mm. Mm. It's, supposed to, it's supposed to bring to bear an awareness. He said yeah. this thing, I've written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know mm. that mm. you have eternal life. So in, so in worship, worship there's got to be an awareness of the exactly God. And then that exactly. awareness is supposed to overwhelm whatever anxieties that may have been there. Whatever. Oh I'm my telling God. you. Beautiful. I'm beautiful. telling you. Beautiful. I'm it telling is... you. So so you 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 celebrate his faithfulness. Mm. You celebrate his power. Mm. You celebrate his grace. You mm. celebrate his love. Mm. So, so those words that you're hearing, the Lord Jesus, I love you, is somebody who, who, who is overwhelmed with the love of God. Mm. Meaning that mm. this is mm. the most important love in the whole world. The whole God. world. And awesome. somebody says, Mighty God, I bless your name, mm. for you are God by yourself. Mm. He's, he's reassuring himself. He's come to that place where nothing in this world can move me. Move me. Oh, I know the one who has made the heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. I know. I know. I know. So Hallelujah. That's, that's the antidote. Wow. This is so inspiring. Thank you so much, Eben. Um, one line I'm going to take from everything you've said. You can't worship and worry at the same time. Same time. I'm telling you. <laughs> I hope you're hearing. You can't worship and worry at the same worry time. At the same See? Time. And then Eben also says that the antidote for all that anxious uh, anxiety is what worship that's an antidote worship. to all the anxiety exactly. in the world wow exactly. thank you so much in such a short time you've delivered like a full <laughs> worship <laughs> and really really thank you really, so really, much really, i'm happy that you found time to be here today i really appreciate you thank you so much for all the beautiful worship songs that you have blessed us with we're grateful thank, thank you, you even thank you. thank you thank you for having me yeah thank you Glad to have you here. And so, till we come again on the next episode of 30 Truths About Worship with Lorech, keep worshipping. Bye. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of 30 Truths About Worship. We trust that you have been really inspired. But you know, true worship starts with a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So if you haven't been born again, can I ask that you join me in this prayer? Dear God, I thank you for today. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for me. With my heart, I believe that he was raised from the dead. And with my mouth, I confess him Lord over my life. I am saved.
and now I receive the gift of eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord. If you said this prayer, congratulations. You are now born again. Welcome to the family of God. And guess what? We have a gift for you. It's a little book titled, Now That You're Born Again, by Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. Write us using the address on the screen and let us know where you are so that we can get, get this gift to you. Thank you so much. God bless you.